A CDC advisory committee holding a meeting this afternoon to discuss whether to consider COVID booster shots for immunocompromised individuals. Meg Terrell with the details. Meg, did we get an answer on it? We did not, Sarah. The CDC advisory committee essentially saying that the FDA would need to weigh in on this and essentially give authorization for an additional dose of the COVID vaccines before they could officially vote and make a recommendation for these shots. That said, a lot of members of the committee acknowledged this is already getting away from them and a lot of folks who are immunocompromised are already seeking third doses to boost their immunity. This is about 3% of U.S. adults who have one of these conditions. They've had organ transplant, they're on immunosuppressive medications or have HIV. They're more likely to get severely ill from COVID and have reduced vaccine efficacy. And studies have shown that a third dose can boost their response, at least for some folks. And so there is an acknowledgement of the urgency of this and the fact that it could be useful, and also an acknowledgement that this is already being recommended in other countries like Israel and France, but not making an official recommendation to do so yet, although acknowledging this needs to be considered and figured out. Guys? Yeah, we asked Dr. Fauci yesterday, Megan. He also didn't give a definitive answer, said it's something they're looking at. On the booster question, you know, one of the, the great hopes with mRNA is that it was easy to respond to a new variant, that they could just tweak it and, and make a new shot. So what about a new booster shot that directly targets the Delta variant? Is that something that Pfizer and Moderna are working on and that we could see soon? Pfizer has announced that it's working on that, and I believe it's going to start trials in folks uh, in August. I don't believe Moderna has announced it plans to start trials of a Delta-targeted variant. So far, its results have looked really good with the one it updated to the beta variant, the one associated with South Africa. And they actually have one that they've combined that's both the original virus and the South African variant uh, that they put together, a, a sort of combination vaccine that they also think looks pretty good. Uh, and so these things can be updated fairly quickly. So far, it does look like protection against Delta is very good, particularly for severe disease. And so it's not clear we're going to need that, but they can move fast. But they have to go through trials again? You said Pfizer was in file trials? They at least have to... Well, they have to at least assess in, you know, phase one human trials, the safety and the immune response from doing one of these things. They're not going to have to run a, you know, 30,000 patient phase three again, but they do need some initial human data. Meg, thanks so much. Much appreciated as always. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.